Hey what's up everyone, Esso here bringing you a very quick, short but detailed tutorial on how to use an Xbox controller on World at War PC guys. This is very simple and I stress you do not need Xpadder or Pinnacle Profiler or any key mapping programs. It is built into the 1.7 patch of World at War so as long as you're up to date with the patches you will be able to use this method and I swear to God it is very simple you will see very shortly now this will work with either a wireless or wired controller the only thing the controller must have is an Xbox driver running it so it either works on your Xbox whether it's wired or wireless the only difference between the two if you want to try and run wireless on your PC you are gonna need the Xbox wireless receiver which will allow you to use the wireless Xbox headset on your PC as well. Uh, I don't do it, but I know it does work. Um, all of the above only uses one USB slot. Either your corded controller will plug straight in, or the wireless receiver is uh, USB connect. So it's pretty simple and a very easy setup. The wireless is obviously a bit more expensive, but if you're on a budget, just get a half-decent sort of second brand Xbox controller like a Mad Cats or a Logitech just make sure it has the Xbox driver once you plug it in either the receiver or the controller it will download the driver for the program automatically and that's about it guys uh, you now go to World at War start it up and all it is is a console command so I'll see you on World at War guys Okay, now that we've launched World at War, guys, what you need to do is you can do this in-game or at the main menu. I'm doing it in-game to show you guys how you can actually change the sensitivity of your Xbox controller. The uh, controls look sensitivity does not change the controller sensitivity. I must stress that because that will do absolutely nothing. Another thing, guys, I need to point out is that, as you can see on screen, I don't use an Xbox controller anymore, and I really do recommend, if you're going to try and become more of a serious PC gamer, to get a nice keyboard and mouse kit. I've got a Razer Locusus and the uh, Black Widow keyboard, I think. Um, anyway, they are awesome and a lot more precise and better response times but if you're used to console gaming and all you want to do is try out custom zombies and it is a lot easier with an Xbox controller just the the changeover guys I did it I used it for the first six months of playing PC zombies but finally I got into mouse and keyboard so that's one little tip from me this isn't the best method to play zombies um, but it is awesome all the same being able to use an Xbox controller. So, as you can see there, my controls will change after I put in this command. So you need to go E, X, E, C, space, default, underscore, controller, dot, C, F, G. Okay, and as you can see on screen, guys, all the controls change to completely the same as COD, COD on Xbox, like COD controls. It is exactly the same, guys. Maybe if you've got a different controller, things will be a bit different. Uh, like I said, as long as it has the Xbox driver. So you can see, all our controls are on an Xbox, guys. It is pretty epic, and it is very easy to switch over from console to PC doing this. But anyway... Um, the next step, guys, is what you're going to want to do, because as you can see, my sensitivity is quite fast. I'm going to show you the default that you get given once uh, doing this. So, all you really need to put in is input, and then you can see down about, I don't know, eight slots, you'll see sensitivity. So, we do that, actually. I need to do this while paused. So, we go the sensitivity one input view sensitivity and then we want it to be I think default is 2.0 and let's see what happens here 
Yeah, so you can see my sensitivity is quite low, guys, and it was quite a pain in the ass to me first using this command because I wasn't aware of the change of sensitivity. But this varies quite a lot, and you can go from actually 1.1 to 5, I think, which I've never actually tried, but we might do it right here, 5.0. Now, this is going to be ridiculous, guys. Whoa! So, you've nearly got mouse sensitivity now. So, anyway, that has been my tutorial on how to use an Xbox controller on World at War PC. It's pretty good, guys. It is really, really useful. A lot better than using X-Padder or Pinnacle Profiler or any of those other programs. It is awesome. Doesn't actually work for the PS3 controller, unfortunately, guys. So, no questions about that. But any other questions you have, please leave so in the comments and I will respond as soon as possible. And I hope this has been very helpful too. If you want to see more tutorials from me to do with PC gaming and what I do on my channel, let me know. And if you really enjoyed this tutorial and found it easy and very helpful, like and favourite the video to spread the word and show your friends how to do this as well. And subscribe to see lots of zombie action on my channel. Alright guys, ladders.